Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So we're going to integrate this by parts. So let's write down the formula. So if we're integrating the product of u and dv by dx, then that's equal to u times v minus the integral of v times du by dx dx. So what we're doing here is starting off with one integral and ending up with an integral that's simpler. Now, sometimes you can do this in one stage, but in this example, we're going to have to have two stages. So what I'm going to do, instead of u and v, I'm going to have u1 and v1 for the first stage and u2 and v2 for the second stage. So let's have a look at how this will work. Now the u, or the u1, is going to be something which when we differentiate it will be simpler. So in general, and in this case it applies, we're going to let u1 be equal to the power of x. So we've got a subscript of 1 here, and u1 is equal to x squared, and that means that our dv1 by dx is going to be the other function, which is sine x. So for this formula we need to differentiate the u1, so that gives us 2x, so this is v1, and integrating sine x gives us minus cos x. So now we're ready to start integrating, so let's just make this a bit smaller so that we give ourselves some more space on the page. So our formula tells us that we want to multiply u by v, so here that means we're going to multiply u1 by v1, so that means x squared times negative cos x, so let's bring the negative out to the front, so we've got minus x squared cos x, and then we want to subtract the integral of v1 du1 by dx dx. Now our v, or v1, is minus cos x, so that means we've got a negative which we can take outside the integral, so of course the minus and the negative will give us a positive, but just let's leave that in the first line so that we know what we've done. And then we're just multiplying together the 2x and the cos x. So we're integrating that. So the first term is going to stay the same. So we've got minus x squared cos x. And then instead of the minus negative, we can put plus. And it will also be simpler to take the 2 outside of the integral. So we've got 2 times the integral of x cos x dx. So we've got minus x squared cos x plus 2. And now we're still left with an integral. And it's an integral that we still can't do, but it is easier than the integral we started off with. Because if we apply the integration by parts formula again, we will be able to solve this. So what we could do is say that that integral could be called i. So let's just write that down. Our integral i is this integral that we're trying to find, x cos x dx and once we found it we could call this 1 so that we know that the integral we're trying to find the integral of x squared sine x dx is minus x squared cos x plus 2 times this integral i that we will be able to find using the uh, formula again so starting again so now you see why I used u1 earlier on and uh, v1, because now to apply the formula again, we're going to have a u2, and that's going to be the power of x, which this time is just x, and my dv2 by dx is going to be cos x, and to use the formula, I need to differentiate u2, and that gives me 1, which will make life a lot simpler. And 
v2 integrating cos x is sine x. So applying the formula again, we get that the integral of x cos x dx is, well, we're going to multiply our u2 and v2 together. So that's going to be x sine x. And then subtract the integral of v2 times du2 by dx. So that's going to be 1 times sine x. So that's simply the integral of sine x dx. So you can see now that we are left with an integral that we can work out. So the first term stays as x sine x. And then we're subtracting the integral of sine x, which is negative cos x. So that's a minus and a minus. It gives us a plus cos x. And then we need to remember to add on a constant of integration. So let's call that k. So we haven't yet actually finished, but we can see that it's going to be simple to find the answer. Now we've finished our actual integrating because we know that the integral that we want is minus x squared cos x plus 2i, and we've just found i, and we can just substitute that in. So let's write that down. Right, so we've got that the integral that we want is equal to minus x squared cos x plus 2 times i, which is what we have just found. So let's just put all of that in brackets. So that's x sine x plus cos x. And of course, not forgetting the constant of integration k. And then just simplifying that, we have got minus x squared cos x plus 2x sine x plus 2 cos x. And then we could either write plus 2k, or you might just like to write c for the constant of integration. 